Assalamu alaikum. Hope you are doing well. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. Hi, so in this video, we are going to solve this power query challenge, and this is good challenge to solve. So basically, on the number of subject per row and generate the result as shown. Okay, so this is the problem, and this is our expected output, and that is number of subject per row so we have physics chemistry math and then again physics right so physics appear in three different rows so this is first row and then we have physics in this f and also in this so we have physics three times okay that is this three times and we are ignoring repeated in a single line okay so like physics and then physics we have physics and uh, you know like in this row we have physics twice but we are going to count only once per each row okay. so appear more than once in a row it will be treated as one only for that row for example physics chemistry math physics appear two times in this in this row it will be treated as only one for that row english will be counted as only one for this one so english biology and then again english new separator rather than given above may come in future like at the rate, daughter, asterisk, etc. may come, which are currently not there. And so responding to an unknown separator is a requirement here. So this condition is way more. This condition makes this problem more challenging than other ones. Okay. So what we need to do, we need to separate each of this subject into a list, and we don't know a specific separator here. So what we will do, as you can see that all the subject is composed of alpha character. So we will consider only A to Z, remove everything or you can say split by everything else and then just find distinct of each of this subject for each row and then come back. Okay. So we do have this download practice file, so I will download that file. So one thing we can do is that keep every alphabetic characters like A to Z and just replace anything else. So this is our input data. So let me just convert this into a proper table. Okay. So I'll take into Power query. So we do have a split column, and you can see you know digit to non digit, non digit to digit. So let's say what it does. So it's saying that splitter is split text by character transition and A to Z and not contains side of A to Z. And let's see what it does. So it can like this physics and then list of these things. Let's see. Physics, chemistry, math, and then physics. So, so this is not a good option, right? Because it's not splitting properly as as expected, Tra character transition A to Z, A to Z. Let's see this part. So, this is good. Set. Let's see. Okay. So it is splitted physics, chemistry, math, and then physics, biology, you know, physics, English, chemistry, geology, and other part. 
but still it's not a best option you can have so what we will do let's see add column custom column after okay, sensitivity okay so this is a list what we'll do we'll transform this list list dot transform this is our list and each list dot contains that is let's say a to z perhaps so this is our list what to check that is text dot upper this h so what i'm doing i'm just checking if it's content like true 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 and then we have false false because we have comma and then space so what we will do we'll just replace each of this with space okay so we are just saying that if it's contained then this is going to be our answer else uh, is best like that now so we do have these spaces instead of that we can just do text dot combine combine and that is this one now what i have done is that we have removed every separate directory right so now what we'll do we'll just say that text dot trim so it will trim out all of these characters it's not as expected it's dot split So it's split is space. Okay. Oh, split. Split. Okay. So we do have physics, we do have chemistry, we do have maths, and we do have again physics. So this is a list. We'll do list dot transform H. Let's see what this text or trim does for this one. Hmm, it's hard to know. Or now we we'll start select and so this is a select selection as a function. It is not empty let's see so we have physics we have chemistry math physics look at this hmm. we'll do something more as well so this dot select you can say okay, list dot transform again so we perform each that is going to be proper so text dot proper so that is this one and here and then this one. now you have properly formatted list i guess yep so it can scan three times that's okay hmm. okay that's good now we'll do a little more that is list dot distinct so it will only keep the unique ones so that is this one so physics can stream maths so it remove duplicate ones
now we don't need this column actually and you can just say new rows you can just say group by just count rows so that is subject and that is count so physics comes three times so let me load this so as our expected output physics comes three times and geology two times so let me just let's see the comparison here so biology two times that's good botany one times it looks good you can just say match let's say x look up this is that subject and then find in this section and read on this one so this is two and just check this formula is not updated yep so all match so this is our solution yes We could optimize a little more in this section, add a custom, this becomes like a mess. So let's see, custom, you can just get rid of this, adding column actually, okay, never mind. So let's get in this one, demo, expand and group and then demands, okay. So this is all, let's try with other separate, let's see, if I just put So here dollar. So let's see. Maybe refresh. So same answer, I guess. Let's keep this one so that we can see if we fix the color map. Oh, it seems now correct as well. You can put no instead of comma. I'm just at the right. This is also correct. So I think this is good now. Thank you for watching. If you have any question or suggestion, feel free to comment. Have a good day.